All right, so uh, it's a nice day out today. Thought I'd come out. Uh, lately, we've had so much rain that uh, I haven't really bothered going anywhere. So just so you see, this is a, a little road that comes off of my street because basically my street is right off the bush. Um, now I haven't really decided where I'm going yet or what I'm doing. Brought a fishing rod and some lures just in case I feel like fishing. Um, I think mostly though I'm just out to get some exercise. And uh, yeah, so we'll see where we get. I mean there's along this road there's a bunch of lakes I can hit depending on how far I want to walk and uh, what I want to have at the lake. I mean, uh, they all have beaches that I can sit on. I don't think I'm going to go swimming because I think the water is still too cold. Up here, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't swim until probably late July or August anyways. All right, so uh, I'm about 10 minutes up the road from uh, my street. We're at the first lake here. This is uh, Slipper Lake. I don't know if you can see in the film, there's like all these little yellow butterflies everywhere. Let's see if I can come over without spooking them. I don't know if they're eating or breeding or what, but uh, it's kind of neat. See them all? They're all flying everywhere. Alright, so I've been walking for about, uh, I don't know, let's say half hour to 40 minutes. There's the way I came from. And this is the way I'm going. Now, if you look, I'm at a crossroads here. Or a fork, sorry. So if I go that way, that takes me to Quimby Lake, to the beach there. And if I keep going a little farther, it takes me to where Quimby Lake and Elliott Lake meet up at a little set of falls. If I go that way, I hit Eston Lake. Uh, today, I think uh, we're going to go to Eston Lake, just because it's a bigger lake. It's really pretty, great fishing. And we might have a chance to see some people out on the boat because there is a boat launch. Um, whereas uh, Quimby doesn't have a boat launch. So to get there, you either have to drive along the ATV trail to the beach, uh, which I guess you can you know, call a boat launch, or uh, the way I've usually done it is I paddle seven kilometers up uh, Elliott Lake and portage across the, the falls to Quimby. Um, I mean, it's your choice however you want to do it. It is a long paddle. Um, so yeah, beautiful day out today. Uh, it's warming up. The mosquitoes aren't too bad. I mean, I'm getting bit, but I'm not getting swarmed, which is, <laughs> which is good for up here. It uh, seems like the black flies have pretty much disappeared now because I find uh, they come out in spring when it's cool and once it gets too hot, yeah, they die off. But then the mosquitoes roll in and pretty soon we're going to have horse flies and deer flies. And uh, yeah, they get the horse flies get as big as freaking bumblebees up here. Uh, so you got to be careful they don't actually pick you up and take you away. So it's been about 10 minutes since the crossroads, maybe 15. Sorry, I don't normally carry a watch on me because uh, normally I don't really care what time it is. Uh, so here I am. As you can see through the trees, I'm coming up on Eston Lake. And this is basically the far beach from town. Because uh, if you start at the boat launch, there's a little beach that's kind of like the party spot for all the young folk in town. Um, yeah, I'll show you it. Show you some of the stuff I brought. Got this here uh, winter mossy oak pack. That's uh, like I said, it's mostly it's my winter day pack. Um, and I just brought it today because it's about the perfect size for what I needed. Well, of course, brought my good old trusty uh, 
spider called Bushcraft UK. Process a bit of firewood, I guess. Of course, I brought my cameras. I brought my. I just brought my telescoping pack rod. Um, just because, uh, yeah, because I'm in a backpack and uh, don't want to be carrying too much stuff. Brought my uh, my stainless steel wide mouth canteen by Pathfinder School. And Dave Canterbury. Got to tell you, I love this thing, but uh, sometimes I regret buying it. I'll tell you why. I found out after that uh, heavy cover make a titanium uh, wide mouth canteen, which is lighter, of course. Um, but what I should have really bought was the um, like the Nalgene bottle style stainless steel. And the reason why is number one, everything nowadays is made to hold one of those round water bottles, right? So, you know, backpacks usually have the little pockets on the side that'll fit them, but they won't fit this. Uh, and on top of that, when you're cooking, I mean, this is an odd shape, so it doesn't sit on a small wood stove very easily where a round bottle is more you know uniform so it's not going to be heavy on one side or the other or whatnot I always try and carry my uh, my fin wolf by cold steel and I gotta tell you the more I uh, the more I carry it around and use it the more I love this knife and I'll tell you why uh, it's got the scandy grind uh, but I love this belly right here uh, great for skinning. The only thing I wish is I wish it was a drop point, which I may at some point uh, grind it down. And the reason for that is when you're like cutting open a hide, you don't want the tip here to be, you know, cutting into the meat or the, especially the stomach contents. So if you've got a little bit of a sweep here, like a spear point or a drop point, uh, you're able to run it this way underneath the hide and the tip won't catch all these like sort of survival skills or whatever you want to call them bushcraft skills you know can all save your life but the thing is watching a video reading a book knowing how to do it is a lot different than than actually doing it uh, if you practice it and you have that skill like you don't want to learn that skill or practice that skill when you need it the most you know like if I ever get into a situation where I absolutely have to have a fire uh, it's not just the the practice the experience and the ability to do it it's that added confidence in knowing that you can do it now if you've watched a video of it before yeah you might feel a little confident that you can light a fire or whatever but if you've actually done it and used that skill a bunch of times then you're gonna have that confidence you're gonna know what you're doing Gotta love the sounds of the forest, eh? There's a couple little swamps I pass by where you hear bullfrogs and spring peepers and even just the wind rustling through the leaves is beautiful.